Hello and welcome. It is the uh, sixth day, fifth day rather of June 2020. My name is Derek. This is the Money Charts channel where like always all bets, trades and of the like within each his own risk and their own reward. And within this video, I'm going to go over NKN, which I've never even seen this code before until about five minutes ago. And it's just a random one that I'm bringing up and not really too, too random in the sense of I got really no real charts I want to go over. And it happens to be the number one on the list. And that's why I got it up. And that's number one for Binance coins. And look over Bitcoin, but also as well, possible subscription services. And you only be via request only. I... Uh, I'll, I'll go for, I've been notified today that I can do it, so I'm going to just uh, leave it open in the comments section. This has got some interesting moves in the daily term time frame, all the buy low, sell high opportunities, more so lately. I mean, here, not as much great volatility. But uh, what I like about it, when you see how this is done every time it's gotten above the 18 average of highs, this here in February gets above, but not able to hold, resisting it, then having a leg lower. Then it has a move getting above it, so there's a correctionary phase, so now we establish this range of resistance and... Um, and then even this lower one, but not able to get over it, another leg lower. Now this point in May, it comes up and well, it's gotten above this one time. Whether it have more uh, legs going higher, I, it could. I mean, t t uh, fundamentally, and that's why I'm not going to cover too much. Um, I'm not sure. And again, I've been notified about that I can do memberships. I can do uh, merchandise, which I'm not even considering. And this is Super Chat, which I technically could do. I mean, I, I suppose I could do live streams. It would be a lot of work to actually technically put it up live because of just getting quality videos. The uh, videos that I've used before, and I've only done it a couple of times for live chats have been bad. I could also do what Mike Maloney does, put it like really good videos and then put a premiere time and set Super Chats up. But I don't want to do that either. But here, viewers will see a join button on your channel and video pages. Offer your fans special badges emoji and access to perks you create at multiple price levels um so i mean badges i don't know even badges and emojis are but if you had access to a video if i can do it this way um it's uh, i learned about uh, different types of perks on how creators describe them to fans Special badge and emoji gets notified in your comments. I mean, what's up with that? That's nothing. I've always wondered. I mean, if there's any type of way I could just put up videos where I can play around with it and see. I'll just maybe see what options are available. But if I can, I just got notified about that again for today's video. Let's take a look at Bitcoin next and go over that. But if there's any way I can, uh, like if there's any different types of individual questions, Fibonacci levels, different points, especially with different the codes, this cross versus this cross, it'd be an ideal way for, uh, for that to be done as a possible situation. So I'm not too sure about it, but that'd be pretty cool if I was able to uh, do that. I'm not really doing any of the Patreon kind of stuff. I don't even have a Patreon account, so I'm not gonna, I know that would be one other way as well, but, uh, I mean, I've barely, I've only ever once been ever been on or twice ever been on a Patreon page uh, in my life. Anyway, maybe one day, I'm not sure. Well, within Bitcoin on the more shorter term, three hour term time frame, this big move up, the big move down and how well it's been correcting so far. The 18 average on the three hour just barely going higher. If anything, going higher and sideways or going neutral meaning the rally here is still in the correctionary mode, really supporting this level of resistance, but it still is a shorter term. You even got to get up to this 98 level for this previous high. And then above that, just to be able to make a run for the previous high that's in it. And, and it's been looking good. I mean, here's a spot where it's been showing a lot of strength amongst the 18 average of highs. A very good setup, and yet it's been going down a little bit. It'll just that. Well, it means if, say, if I would think anyway as a trader, if you were to buy something on here, because you see strength on this level, that a move like this should never be enough to quote unquote get stopped out. If anything, maybe you'd have a stop below this line or whichever point, but at this stage, I mean, these type of higher lows, keeping this, that could be very easily be uh, what you look for. And then another strategy is, okay, I wait for a break, maybe above, clearly above this, but a decent ways in here. And then I look at risk reward management, where the reward management says, I got maybe a level where I can hit this previous higher break it. And then the gains that would follow thus within it. And then the risk side is whereabouts would you put a stop area? 
uh, how, what's the probabilities when you're trying to figure out that it's each one could happen? And then, of course, uh, how that affects your uh, return on investment along your bets. All those different types of uh, calculations and things you can go through, I think, can help along the way in trading whatever it is you trade. Uh, amongst the daily term, it's still showing strength amongst the 18 average of highs as we had this little move just just stand there for so many days it had the attempt of course of breaking out above it thus an ultimate failed breakout but not, not too common i see a breakout like this and then the sale off like this and then have the three sessions follow through that usually you might get you might resist amongst this level which would have been around 94.50 but it, rather it supported that the two previous days it's not even supporting that today because uh, as we can see that we're supporting uh, the previous uh or previous levels of resistance in here. Uh, and then in the hourly time frame, this is uh, the breakdown spot and it's established the support hasn't gotten going yet. And in fact, it's even falling a little bit from the highs, but just a little bit still within the lows and still supporting this point. But when it's ready to go for a situational move, you'll, you'll see it get above these levels and then it would most likely be self-fulfilling prophecies there after that. But we already see how this general area in here the uh, rally from this point the uh, this this little box in here that if you start to see decline as it leaves this point well that would be a bearish setup and then you'd probably expect a quick move to come first to this previous low you got these lows in here as well and then there after that you would just like uh, make your time frame longer to look for uh, additional points as well. So I thought when I read it the first time that it said I can make like, make like, like you can charge whatever you want for videos and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look into any type of membership situations. And again, it would only be on request because as I look at this myself now, I'm doing these videos pretty much for free. Yeah, the ads for those who have them on will see them. And that's, of course, a little bit of generated income that comes within it. But without any type of cost at all, it's like, to me, it's like no pressure on my end to uh, really for content or for for things like that. And just so it's almost like if it's something that I want to venture into. It's like, yeah, I could do it, but something I don't need to do. But if there's a demand for it, then it would kind of be something I would rather. Uh, that's what something that would rather trigger me to wanting to do such but I'll look more into that uh, throughout the night and I'll uh, talk to you later on. Take care. Bye-bye.